Schools across St. Lucia celebrated Creole Heritage Month in October with traditional Jeanne Creole festivities. Students at Ave Maria Primary and Carmen Rene Primary marked the occasion by donning colorful Creole attire and participating in cultural events that honored the island's Creole history and identity. Ave Maria tied the traditional Creole cuisine to a teachable moment about community. Oh well, um, today, after three years, we've been having what you call a Grand Creole Fair. And this time around this year, we decided that, you know, we do some sharing where the students come in with different various um, quail meals, um, breakfast, lunch, uh, confectionery items, and they just put everything together and they share. So you have some doing it on a class level, you do it on a grade level, but it's a matter of encouraging the children to share and not just share, but know exactly the original originality of a particular food is it from um, African um, Indian you know so it's also a, a, a day where they learn at Ave Maria primary students dressed in vibrant dashikis madras and other traditional Creole fabrics the girls their hair decorated with Creole head wraps and sporting straw hats filled the school courtyard with the sounds of infectious Creole folk music inspiring the students to dance away we have here our little exhibition we made a, an effort to find the Creole name to match to the the English um, English word, um, name for the each item. So it's not only just a fun day, but it's a day for them to learn about their culture, where they came from, and to link certain activities. Even with some of the dances during the course of the week, the music teacher engaging, um, teaching them a particular um, folk dance. So it was not just about today, but for the past few days and weeks, we've been doing a little quail activity with them. Meanwhile, at Carmen Rene Primary, students showcased Creole culture and history. The Jeanne Creole celebrations were akin to a heritage festival of traditional games and dress fashion shows. Aujourd'hui, nous avons célébré Jeanne Creole en l'école. Nous avons tout le calte manger, nous ni permis, nous ni tout le calte manger Creole. Nous ni modeling, nous ni compétition Kaboué, nous ni compétition cool pink en Creole. So, vini Carmen Rene. Vini l'école Carmen Rene, vini gagne manger au pour Rodia, vini gagne dîner, et puis tu as pour des mains si tu veux. Merci. En anglais. Oui, c'est une maman là qui a mis des petits coyotes, ils ont tout partout à courir, ils ont gagné tout le bagage, ils ont gagné le confit, ils ont gagné tout le bec. Nous savons d'ici, nous n'y mauvais temps Rodia, mais c'est une maman là. Yo joli, yo ka mise koyo, et nou ka ni an bon tan hodi ya, nou ni mise koyo yon ka ka jwe apwe sa. Students were immersed in the folk culture as parents looked on proudly. An to pase, nou te ka ni jenes koyo. Sa se an kompetisyon koyo, ek gason, ek tifi. Ek nou te ka chante koyo, danse koyo, ek nou te ka ni yon ki ka genye, et sa te bien bon. Mais aujourd'hui, nous nous avons qu'à vendre manger aujourd'hui en l'école là, parce que nous voulons gagner un pied système pour l'école. The colorful festivities harkened back to a simpler time when Creole traditions and culture reigned supreme across the island. For today's youth, Jeanne Creole offered a precious opportunity to connect with and celebrate their Creole identity through food, music, dress, and folklore. Organizers hope the students return home with a deeper appreciation for the rich cultural heritage of Saint Lucia. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.